I'm excited and honored to speak at the Labor School graduation all the way from Arizona. My name is Leanne Abushar, and I am a kindergarten through third grade autism teacher in Phoenix. I currently serve as the president of the Phoenix Elementary Classroom Teachers Association, representing the certified staff in my school district. This year, we have scored several huge gains. We have negotiated back pay, reduced class sizes, bargained for a $3,000 bonus for teachers, and won a 6% raise for all certified staff in the 2019-2020 school year. As a result, our membership is one of the fastest growing in the region. Our growth stems from the Red for Ed movement that has spread across the country. Teachers, parents, and community members are finally standing up to years of privatization, cuts in funding, and attacks on our kids. More importantly, we are standing up for ourselves and realizing the power that we have. The Red for Ed movement is about schools and the educators and the kids that work in them each day. In April 2018, 80,000 Arizona educators marched on the Arizona State Capitol and demanded better funding for our schools. I feel strongly that labor education is going to be the most important thing that unions can do to grow the labor movement. Without the opportunity to learn from other organizers and be well-versed in the law and leadership skills, the labor movement will stagnate. Programs like the Labor School that we are graduating from today are important in leading the way for social and racial justice, because at the end of the day, working conditions and labor rights have an impact on everyone's daily life. It is important that we go back to our own locals and start teaching others what we have learned. The labor school has given us a ton of resources and we need to spread that information to our peers. When I started my role as president this year, I took over from a former team that had completely run our local into the ground. I had no support from them and the labor school gave me the background that I needed to move our local forward. I knew that the information I was learning couldn't just be for me, so I took many of the documents and lessons and shared them in our leadership team meetings. In every meeting, I would take some time to share something new and give copies of the documents to our members. Arizona is not what you might call a union state, so people need to know the power that their union has. Many people here just treat our union like a school club. Those who do see the power sometimes are guilty of leaving the work to be done by other people while they wait on the sideline. As a Michigander, this is frustrating, but I know that labor education is necessary to change that culture and rhetoric. In the era of the Janus decision, we are going to see attacks on labor spread. We need to find ways to develop our members into leaders and understand that the rank and file are the most important members of the union. These are the change makers and the ones you will rely on when times get tough. Educated members are less likely to be swayed by management. They know what to say when challenged and they know where to find information and support when they aren't sure what their next step should be. Educated members also understand how interwoven the labor movement is. What's good for one group of workers is good for all, group of wor all groups of workers. As we've learned, unions bring up the pay for all workers, union or not. If we are aware of the plight of workers in other industries, we can join together to combat those issues. Little decisions and solidarity make a difference, such as choosing to only stay in unionized hotels, buying cars with a UAW sticker, or boycotting stores and companies with shady labor practices. As I move forward in my union, I hope to take the lessons from the labor school to grow our local and build power within our school district. I hope that our union will inspire educators to join and step up because we can only build power if we have the numbers and the participation. We all know people in our local that want to step up but just haven't been asked. You would be surprised to know the number of people that weren't involved before and just needed someone to ask them to take the plunge. These new leaders can be new or veteran workers and sometimes leaders aren't the loudest or the ones that stand out. Leaders may be your quietest members. They just need a push. I hope that everyone in our program will move forward and find these leaders. I'll leave you with a quote from Eugene Debs. You must use your head as well as your hands to take, out, take you out of your present condition. Take what you've learned this year and teach others. Your union needs you and you need them. Happy graduation!